This is a warning to Christians, in my opinion. It is like an alert. We want you to raise your eyebrows. I'm picking this from, you know, an issue that prophets have said or mentioned about Steve Jobs. You know, Steve Jobs of the Apple, you know, project. And this is what Prophet by Angel said about Steve Jobs that you don't know about. And this is a warning to Christians to be very particular about this particular thing. So we move in that juncture so we can prosper. Let's go watch this one. Who can be better than me here? Look at the people like Steve Jobs that were fired from their own companies. Left their own companies and then came back and owned it again. What is happening? They had a certain level of boldness in them. Certain level of boldness. When you know who you are. I know who I am. In other words, in other words, I'm not, you see, the whole power thing comes from knowing who you are. When you are who, when you are you, you are not perturbed. You're not shocked or surprised by anybody. You're not moved. It doesn't move you this thing. It's another level you need to understand. There is a deeper realm. A deep understanding. With the power of God is so much in you. That you move different. You talk different. Brothers and sisters, we operate by... You know, when the Holy Ghost came on, uh, you know, in the upper room where the apostles were praying, when the Holy Ghost came, on the day the Holy Ghost came, you know, Peter, the shy one, got some level of boldness. And this is a warning to every Christian. The only way out to be successful is boldness. Be bold and make that move. Steve Jobs created something that we are enjoying today. The phone I'm using is iPhone. You, you are using some people. A lot of people watching me are using iPhones. We are all enjoying, you know, the fruit of someone's labor. I know you bought it with your money, but it is someone's project that we are going through right now. We are using right now. We are enjoying right now. Yeah? So, you see, it's boldness. He started this thing. He was dropped from the whole deal. He went there again. He was bold. Peter came from the upper room bold enough to preach to saving 3,000 souls on the day. Bold. If you want to make it out there in your job, in the business, as an entrepreneur, whatever you are doing, bold. Be bold. Be bold. You see, you see, let me tell you something. We as Christians, we have been so much engulfed in prayer. And so the Bible says we pray amiss. Because the things that we, should, we are supposed to pray for, we don't pray for them. And the things that we are supposed to streamline and act in accordance, we don't do them. Because we have subjected everything to prayer. And that is wrong. Be bold. You don't go pr praying for boldness. No, you don't even do that. But when you come out from your prayer room, you have to be bold. Because the Holy Spirit will, will vitalize your mortal bodies. Is it, is it not your, your brain part of your body? So the Holy Ghost will touch your brain to be bold. I have a particular word that I say, be fucking stoic. Be stoic. If you want to be rich, be stoic. Be bold. Be crazy. Be painless. The reason why Christians go through pain, the reason why Christians fail, the reason, because they are weak. Weak in their mind. You could see someone who, who prays like, when for me, a prayer guru, 24 hours, but they are not bold. Why? Because they lack knowledge. Because, you see, you could pray, but when you lack knowledge, you perish. So prayer is not, you know, that underlining thing for us to, you know, to, 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 to be able to survive. How can you be praying and lack boldness? 
when you pray, when I go out of my closet, I am bold. Be bold as a Christian. That is a warning I have for every Christian. Be bold. Steve Jobs was bold. You know that Steve Jobs guy, when, you know, I've not really watched, I've watched the Steve Jobs movie once. I've not really watched it. I've not paid attention because I was, my mind was crowded at the moment. At that time, I was doing a lot of things. It was recommended by a friend. A friend watched it. My friend really watched it. So when we're having a conversation, bro, I don't have loose conversations. That's me. So we're having a conversation. And he brought in that about investment and all that. Steve Jobs, when he was bringing the company, they needed investor. You know, he was having a, you know, they were having a, 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 a fast car at the, at the time. If I'm talking about fast cars, I'm talking about expensive car. They have to go park the car somewhere. Going to so that the person ah, you drive this car and you know a whole lot of story boldness put the car somewhere and going for the investor we need an angel investor going for it be bold if you are stepping out as a Christian that's not the time for you to pray three hours before you step out bro what are you talking about be bold say have your words that you say say them words that will ginger you and put you in that atmosphere be bold and go be bold. You know, and so that is what Prophet Angel said about Steve Jobs, boldness. And I want to, you know, urge every believer, everybody who is watching, it goes even beyond believers. Everybody watching, be bold. I don't care the fraternity you belong to, be bold. But you must have been here if you, if, if you are a Christian, right? Because this is almost like a Christian channel, even though it is, it is not just a Christian. We talk about everything, you know, that will grow us spiritually. And so that's a bit. Guys, make sure you subscribe, share, like this video. My name is Chandra Nixon. I love to break down gospel messages like this. I'm out.